temple get destroyed second time. And you learned about that yesterday at Masada. Stays in ruins for 600 years. Until the Muslim comes. And where the Muslim, what's the Muslim traditions? One. Abraham and. Ibrahim na Ishmael. Very good. And also the ha. night journey. That Abraham goes from Ibrahim not Abraham. Abraham. Muhammad goes from Muhammad, Mecca. Muhammad Maka, flies to the holy place. And goes up to heaven to speak to Allah. <coughs> Making Jerusalem the third most important site after Mecca, Medina. That's our beginning. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. bringing us on the Alipo mamsha akamchukua mpaka mbingu ya saba Alipofika kwenye mbingu ya saba akapewa amri ya msini Alempa amri ya msini wanavyo mtaja na dhani sijui ni Ibrahim wa au ni Musa huweba Lakini alipokuwa kishuka alipofika mbingu ya sita Akakutana na moja wapu wa manabie si kumbuki walikuwa kena nani Akazipunguza kutoka msini mpaka arubai na tano Jinsa alipokuwa kishuka uh, mpaka mbingu ya kwanza zile amri zile uh, maagizo ya swala zikapungua kutoka hamsini zikabaki tano i mean ni tano eh yeah sasa aliposhuka kutoka juu alikuwa amepanda mnyama anayetwa bura mewahi kuona kwenye maandiko na machapisho ya Kiislamu kuna punda aliyevaa sura ya binti mzuri okay yule anaitwa bura kwa hiyo anasema alipoamshwa aliambiwa akajitakase kwenye kijito kinachoitwa zamzam au zimzim alipotakasika pale ndo akaenda kwenye mbingu ya saba sasa aliposhuka mahali aliposhukia ni pale kwenye lile uh, kwenye kwenye huo msikiti huo msikiti umejengwa juu ya misingi yale kalo lolojenga Sulemani ndio maana hofu kubwa ya vita vya tatu vya dunia inategemewa inaweza ikabukia hapo kwa sababu kwa Uislamu kugusa hapo umegusa kila kitu kwa hiyo msikiti huu unahesabiwa kuwa ni watatu kwa utakatifu kiacha maka na Madina kwa sababu Muhammad alipotoka juu alishukia pale kwa hiyo hapo ndipo mahali patakatifu kwao lakini pale ni kwenye misingi kabisa tunaona ya hilo hekalu umeeleweka asante thank you for okay. tunaangalia nini tukiwa juu ya mlima huu wa mizeituni over 100,000 jewish graves zaidi ya makabuli 1000 ya wayahudi hapo chini waiting for messiah wanamsubiria bwana small church here kuna kanisa dogo hapo Jesus cried. Yes, the last time. Okay, knowing and saying stone by stone destruction of Jerusalem. In a way, when you went to Masada yesterday, that's the last stone. The golden dome is a Russian church. The bottom of the hill is the Garden of Gethsemane. The Kidron. And then the wall. The tall points here. Maybe the pinnacle. The pinnacle where Jesus is on the high point above the temple. The three temptations. From left to right, that gate, you see the tower? Eastern gate. Golden gate. Palm Sunday. Entering. Behind the golden dome, the distance to gray domes. Alafu, kwenye, ulile, domu, laza, abu, kule, kama ya 
for the Catholic, for the Orthodox, crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus. Many of the Protestants think it's at the Garden too, which is the north. And I think you're going there, we're going there tomorrow, correct? We're going to the Garden too? Yeah. Outside the walls, halfway up there's a church, Peter Galicanta, House of Caiaphas, where Jesus is held overnight. And Peter denies Jesus three times before the crow of the rooster. Top of the hill, the church. For Mary, a Dormition church. But we remember, they may remember that area, Last Supper. Pentecost and David's too. Okay. Um, number two is finished. My last part is the final week. Down the hill, the other side is Bethany. Mary, Martha, Lazarus. Over there. Maria, Martha, and Lazaro walk up and down. Halfway, coming up the hill is also Bet Page. Alafu kutoka up and down, kuna Bet Page. Where Jesus on Sunday will go on the donkey. Maria mbako yesu ali tembea yu yapunda. Down the hill. Kushuka kwenye kilima. Over the bridge. Kuvuka kidaraja. Into the city. Na kuingia katika mji. Thursday. Take me to an upper room. How many people do we have? 37 at a supper. Down the hill. To the, to the garden. Judas and the arrest. Up where he's held at the house of Caiaphas. And the next morning to the other side over here for the trial to the crucifixion and resurrection and the ascension over here 40 days later. Is that enough for one place? <laughs> Maybe if you yeah. give a room for questions. Yep, 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 yep. Are you counting? Kuna maswali yeti. Very close is the place where the Messiah is going to come from over here. Okay. Anasema kwa mbaha wa yaudu alijenga makabuli mahali hapa ili kusudu wa msubiri buwana wakati atakapo kuja kwa jiri ya ususuo. You have the holes behind here for the candles. Anasema kuna pila kabuli ukiriangaleo naona kuna tundu ni kwa jiri ya kuwashia mishuma. To remember. And the stones on top just to pay respects. How much does it cost uh, to have a grave here? I don't know. Ten, twenty thousand dollars maybe. Okay, ten, twenty thousand. Okay. So it's like we say the most expensive graveyard in the world. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So does every Jew need to have the money to be able to be buried or yeah. in in Israel in Israel burials free. Ah na sema Israeli kuziko wa ni bure. It's taken care by the insurance, national insurance. Ah uh, insurance ya serikali nde na chupua habari za maziko. If I want to be buried to my loved one, it, then I have to pay more money. Na kama nataka nizikwe karibu na mwenzangu inabidi nilipe hela zaidi. But this would be a private graveyard here. Also in Judaism, there's no cremation. Okay, so the whole body has to, and the bodies are below.